So let's add another character. All right, on the bottom here, you should see this little cat. And when you hover over it, it says choose a sprite. You can choose a sprite, paint the sprite, or get a surprise, or upload a sprite. I'm gonna choose a sprite because Scratch has tons of sprites that you can use. So what other character should I add? Mm, the dance party. So do we have any dancers? Maybe a ballerina? Oh, look, it's a ballerina. Okay, I can always also search ballerina and also find something. Okay, hello, ballerina. Well, let's click on the green flag to remember what happens to the cat. Cat's moving from left to right, left to right, which is kind of funny. What should we do with the ballerina? Remember, you can choose whatever character that you want. Um, and I encourage you to explore what explore what these other blocks do in the motion section um, to see if you can do something a little bit different. Okay, this time I want the ballerina to move from the top to the bottom. Top to the bottom. How would we do that? Huh, if we did move 10 steps, moving to the right. Hmm, that's not gonna work. Well, remember how there are X and Y values? I'll give you a hint. Well, did you know that you can move to the right by using the move 10 steps or change X by 10? It's exactly the same. If you don't believe me, let me show you. Okay, I'll click on change X by 10 while having ballerina selected, not the scratch cat, ballerina. See, the ballerina is moving to the right. If I click on move 10 steps, it does the exact same thing. So if I do move minus 10 steps or change X by minus 10, it also does the exact same thing. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Well, that's because the X value is any number from the left to right, left to right. If you want to change a sprite to go from up and down, up and down, you're changing the Y value. So if I start here and I want to go down, do you think it's plus 10? Or is it minus 10? Let's see what happens. If I do 10, moving up. If I do minus 10, moving down. Okay, so I'm going to throw these other blocks that I want. And I just have to throw it in here. And it'll disappear. One more time. Choose the blocks that you don't want and throw it out. Okay, so I'm gonna move minus 10 and wait one second. And I'm gonna do the same thing forever. What would happen? Let's try. Oh, ballerina is moving down really slowly. But what's gonna happen when it's almost at the edge? Oh, it's gonna get stuck, isn't it? Oh no! Oh no, ballerina is stuck. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna use the forever block. Hmm. Oh, what's this? There's a repeat block. What if ballerina goes down and goes up? How would we do that? Maybe I could do this. And then I could say, do this 10 times, and then do, do the opposite 10 times. So change y by minus 10, wait one second, do this 10 times, 
and then change y by 10, not minus 10, 10, and wait one second. Okay, so the ballerina's gonna go down and it's gonna move up. It's kind of slow, but oh, there we go. Okay, so that's awesome. But I think for ballerina, I want ballerina to start here. So let's just move ballerina where I want it. And then see these X and Y values changing. And then I'm going to use this go to block. Remember, you have to get it where exactly where you want and then select it. If you move ballerina after, this number doesn't change. You have to change wherever you want it to be here first with a sprite and this not selected. And then choose this, put it here. And then I'm gonna go to events when green flag clicked. And this way, scratch cat and ballerina will both start moving when I click on the green flag. Oh no, ballerina's going down. I think ballerina, ballerina needs to start a little bit higher. So I'm gonna take that block away. I'm gonna move ballerina here and do this instead. Hopefully that's gonna work. Ballerina is moving. Minus 10 is happening 10 times. And then moving up by 10. Hopefully, you know, hopefully Bellina doesn't get stuck. Okay, great. Great, great. Um, and I think because that's working so well, I'm gonna add this forever block and cover the whole thing. The whole thing so that ballerina will do this forever. Just like the scratch cat. Scratch cat is doing this forever. And ballerina is doing this forever. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome. Well, now for the details, okay? So let's see. I'm gonna choose a backdrop you can either choose whatever is in sprite paint your own get a surprise or upload a backdrop let's go to choose a backdrop and choose something that is already drawn for us hmm dance party i'm gonna do a dance party um i want to do something kind of different how about in space. Dance party in space. Awesome. You guys can choose whatever backdrop you want. Um, you can also click surprise and see what you get. Your challenge is to add two more sprites. Go. So I have chosen the dinosaur and Terra, and they are all moving in different ways. So this is the code for the scratch cat. This is the code for ballerina. This is for the dinosaur. 
and this is for Terra. So it's already looking pretty awesome. Um, but I want to change the look of this dance party just a little bit. We've been playing more on motion and a little bit of events and control. 